Are you concerned about the safety of your important data? Accidents happen, and it's essential to have a backup plan in place. My name is Jake, and I want to tell you about the backup method I use for my personal files and my work data, and how you can follow the 3 to one backup rule at different budgets. Please like and subscribe to JP Audio if you find this video helpful. First off, we need to clarify what the 3 to one backup rule entails. It's the idea that having three copies of your data is essential to ensuring you don't ever lose any, but that two of these copies are on different kinds of media, and one of them is stored off-site. You will want to make sure all of your files, both on your computer and your external drives, are all organized and ready to copy so that you can easily navigate through your old data if you need to. I highly recommend using a solid-state drive as your primary backup drive. They are more expensive for less space compared to hard disk drives, but they are much faster and more durable. In my case, I have a one terabyte SSD as a time machine backup of my internal drive and two two terabyte SSDs that I use as a primary and backup work drive. As far as brands, I would stick with popular choices instead of trying to save money and going with a cheaper, less reputable product. Samsung, Crucial, SanDisk, and LaCie have always worked well for me over the years. As for the second physical backup, you may want to consider a hard disk drive if you are on a budget or have large amounts of data to back up. You could even buy a large capacity hard drive and partition it however you need, so you can back up your computer and multiple external drives to the different partitions of that drive. I do this with a 3 terabyte LaCie hard drive, which is partitioned into 1 and 2 terabytes, so I can make perfect copies of my computer and work drive to one single hard drive. Now that we have our physical drives ready to go, we need to start backing up. There are a lot of ways to move your data, but the best way to keep it all up to date is a Mac app called Carbon Copy Cloner. It's very simple on the surface with lots of advanced configurability under the hood. All you need to do is select your source and destination drives, then hit start. Your initial backup might take a long time, but after that you can update your backup whenever you want or automate a schedule and store snapshots, which makes the backup process act more like time machine. It's a $50 one-time purchase, and it's worth every penny for making sure your data is safe. Now that we have our first backup sorted, we need our redundant backup to be stored off-site. The best method for this step by far is a cloud storage solution like Backblaze. There are a lot of options out there for storing your data, but Dropbox is the only alternative I would consider. With Backblaze, you can create a cloud backup of your computer as well as any external drives you want, and you can set it to backup continuously as you create new files. There's also an iOS app to monitor your backups and access files remotely, as well as a version history and unique services like having all of your data shipped to you on an external drive. The personal backup service is $7 per month or $70 a year, which is a small price to pay for unlimited storage that is encrypted and stored off-site. One more backup option to consider is RAID, which stands for Redundant Array of Independent Disks. RAID is a system that uses multiple hard drives to store data, creating redundancy and preventing data loss in case one drive fails. RAID is typically used in business settings, but it's becoming a more popular option for personal use. However, it can be expensive and complicated to set up, so it may not be the best option for everyone. When choosing a backup solution, consider your needs and your budget, and be sure to have multiple backups in place to ensure the safety of your data. With the right backup plan in place, you can have peace of mind knowing that your important data is always safe and secure. I'm Jake with JP Audio, and I hope this video has helped you decide the best direction for your backup method. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more audio how-tos, demos, and reviews. Thanks for watching.